Hi, I'm Terry Gibbs of IWantCollectibles.com and I have two boxes here with items I bought from eBay in them and I'm going to open them up right now on camera so that you can get an idea of how your buyer will react when he receives items you send and see exactly how important it is to package an item well. I have this box right here which contains some DVDs or the seller paid $8.95 in postage for this. I paid $15 for postage and this box sounds well packed, doesn't it? And then I also have this box right here where the seller paid $15.04 in shipping and charged me $50, which it sounds well packed too. So I'm going to open both of these boxes and we're going to look in them and see exactly how well they are packed and talk about how a buyer would react. I'm going to open this one first and this box, I have not opened this box. I don't know how it's packed. When I picked it up at the post office, I decided I should bring it over here and open it on camera because it just, it sounds bad. Um, and here's how it's packed. There's no padding in here. Um, obviously, the guy, maybe he doesn't read the paper so he couldn't use newspaper to stuff in there or anything. Right Now, probably these aren't damaged, but as a buyer, after paying $4 a piece for these videos, and then paying $15 for postage and handling to get a box where the seller can't take the time to wad up some newspaper, that doesn't leave me happy. And when a, someone buys things, they're looking for reasons to return. Sending a person who has buyer's remorse a package packed like this will push him over the edge, cause complaints, and cause returns. Now let's open this box. With this box, I paid $500 for the item inside here and then $50 shipping and handling. So he made $35 more on the shipping and handling. But if you look at it, this box is looks like a brand new box that the guy bought in order to pack this. And I'm gonna open this and we'll see what it looks like inside. Yeah, this, this box, see how he cut this right here? So this was a larger box that he cut down to size. Now he's got this filled with peanuts and there are two to three inches of peanuts on all sides of the item that I bought. A couple inches on top, probably a few inches on the bottom also. Now, I'm going to just pull this out and we'll see because this is what I bought. This is a 1925 Lionel train set in the original box. Now if I was going to pack this I would have put this box into a plastic bag or wrapped it in paper but this is what the seller did. Now he has some wadded up paper and it looks like a great presentation so far. He's got the pieces in here like this. There's some wadded up paper so they're not moving. And these sides would have been protected by the two inches of styrofoam. And this is what I bought was this piece right here. And it's wonderful. It's got newspaper or unprinted newsprint. The guy did an excellent job packing this. This is the item that I wanted. One look at this after looking at how this box is laid out. I'm happy. I'm going to give the guy positive feedback. If I want another item that he has for sale, I'm not going to think twice. I'm going to send him my money. So when you're selling items on eBay, the last chance that you have to impress the buyer is through packing. And this is what you want to do pack the items 
absolutely wonderful. Thank you.